Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, today, we've got a few wide receivers I really want to talk to you about. First things first, I apologize for the terrible video quality. I just got married, and I forgot the, the USB dock uh, in the state where I got married. I'm now in a completely different state uh, on the honeymoon, but the grind doesn't stop. It's fantasy football season everyone, and we got to talk about Chris Olave. Chris Olave was one of my favorite rookie wide receivers last year, and I think he is going to be a key in a lot of you winning your fantasy football Super Bowl titles this season. Look, Garrett Wilson is getting all the love. I get it. Garrett Wilson is an incredible talent, got an upgraded quarterback. Uh, he, he's uh, with a team that all around has made massive improvements over the past year. I understand the hype, but all those things I said about Garrett Wilson are also true about Chris Olave. Incredible talent, pretty much an identical season before he got hurt for the last couple of weeks. He got a pretty massive quarterback upgrade. No, Derek Carr is not Aaron Rodgers, but Derek Carr is a whole heck of a lot better than Andy Dalton and the, the, the shriveled up corpse of Andy Dalton at that. This was not prime Andy Dalton. Chris Olave with Andy Dalton and an inexperienced coaching staff had a fantastic rookie season. Derek Carr comes in, someone that has supported good fantasy assets for a long time. If you remember way back when Amar, uh, Amari Cooper, Michael Crabtree, then it was Darren Waller, then it was Devontae Adams. Derek Carr has supported wide receivers in fantasy football for a long time, as long as I've been playing. Well, not quite as long, but you you get what I'm saying. Now this offense keeps looking to add pieces. This offense is not an offense that is going to be bad. This offense are bringing Kareem Hunt. They brought in Jamal Williams. This is going to be an offense that surprises a lot of people when it comes to yardage and touchdowns this season. I think a lot of people after last season, ugh, the Saints, gross. I don't want a piece of that. After the past few, few seasons, really, since Drew Brees left and Michael Thomas got injured, look, I... It's kind of crazy. I, I graduated high school, grew up, got married all before Michael Thomas came back from the, the, the leg injury. But I think that a lot of people are scared of the Saints, and that is making Chris Lave a great value. He's going in the third round on sleeper platforms. If you don't play on sleeper, what are you doing? It's by far the best fantasy football platform. Their app is 10 times better than any other app. The website's great too. And they've added a lot of cool features. You can get you can do betting right there, player over-unders, all that stuff. So get on Sleeper. But their ADP is the most accurate right now. Chris Olave, 302. It's not a steal. It's, it's not like he's this crazy, crazy underrated player. No, but when you compare that to some of the other wide receivers going 111, CD Lamb, Stefan Diggs, 109. I think Chris Olave can be right there with them at the end of the season as a top seven fringe, fringe top five wide receiver. The third round, I want it. And I think that he will actually stay there. I don't think it's going to continue to rise. It, it already rose a lot this last month, really. But I think Garrett Wilson's ADP is going to rise with Hard Knocks being released tonight. But I think Chris Olave is set there right in the third round. And I think that he is going to have an absolutely fantastic season. And he's one of those wide receivers. Third round, I think that is going to be a staple of a lot of league-winning teams. If you go running back early, let's say Nick Chubb, then you go with a, a wide receiver like Stephon Diggs, pair it with Chris Olave, then come back in the fourth round and get Joe Mixon. That is a league-winning team right there. Chris Olave is going to be the wide receiver two that performs as a wide receiver one. So that is the number one wide receiver that I wanted to talk about. The Profit Approved podcast, it's coming out very soon, uh, probably next week. But But last season, I just want to highlight this. With Andy Dalton throwing him the ball and missing a handful of games, he finished with over 1,000 yards. There's a lot of room for improvement. I think Chris Lave has a massive season. The other wide receiver that I wanted to talk to you about that I think is getting underrated right now, and, and my co-host on the full podcast, go check that out. You can find it on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Just type in The Profit Podcast. It's been a, a pretty good podcast over the past four years we've been doing it, but my co-host loves this guy, and it's Amari Cooper, and he's persuaded me. I'm I'm all in on Amari Cooper, too, now. He's going 409, the fourth round, currently ranked consensus wide receiver 16. 
No one's expecting great things from Amari Cooper. Why should they? Last year, with 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 horrible quarterback play, two different quarterbacks, they only got Deshaun Watson for the last handful of games. He he was horrible. He was a wide receiver nine. This guy finished as the wide receiver nine, and everyone is writing him off. It's absurd. He has been one of the most you know solid kind of fringe wide receiver ones for the past six, seven years. He's been so good for so long that people are tired of it. But I think that he is a massive screaming value there at the end of the fourth round. Deshaun Watson, last three full seasons he played, quarterback five, quarterback five, quarterback five. I don't think Deshaun Watson has just fallen off and lost his talent. The last season was rusty, of course. He went a year and a half without playing football. But the Amari Cooper-Deshaun Watson connection it's going to be strong this season, and Amari Cooper is going to be a massive sleeper. A massive sleeper. People are writing him off. He's got one more season left in him, folks. Draft Amari Cooper. Please, you will thank me later. Wide receiver nine last season. The situation has only gotten better, and his ADP and consensus ranking has only fallen. The third wide receiver and final wide receiver that I want to talk about, I got to th- keep things quick here on my honeymoon, Jahan Dotson. Jahan Dotson is Terry McLaurin four rounds later. Right now, Jahan Dotson is currently going as uh, the wide receiver 32 in the middle of the eighth round on these sleeper platforms. That's where a lot of people are drafting right now. And when he came back from his injury and started getting reintegrated in the offense, it was really week 13. Once he came back, he was on track for 1,100 yards, 10 touchdowns, 119 targets, 71 receptions. Keep those numbers in mind. What were they? 1,100, 10, 119 targets. Okay, those are the main numbers. Let's look at Terry McLaurin's on pace uh, numbers from those weeks. Oh, 1,100 yards, 10 touchdowns, 115 targets, 78 receptions. Identical. Identical. This guy is is not a massive step down from Terry McLaurin. He's just going four, four to, to three to four rounds later. I am fine gambling on Sam Howell in the middle of the eighth round. In the fifth, not so much. Not so much. I'm I'm taking Terry McLaurin. I'm just taking him in the eighth round, and his real name is Jahan Dotson. Jahan Dotson is a massive sleeper, got underrated because he he's on a horrible team that people are scared of, and he was injured a lot his rookie season. But if you look at the numbers, the numbers don't lie. In a bad situation, he was nearly identical to Terry McLaurin. We all love McLaurin. I think we need to love Dotson, too. He's a better value. So go draft those three wide receivers if you have a draft coming up. Those are three of my favorite sleeper picks. And I I tried to keep this brief, just get you some fantasy football information. The good camera will be back. But if you want a full like 50 minutes with my co-host, go check out the Profit Podcast anywhere you can find podcasts. Make sure you follow on TikTok as well as YouTube. And I will see you all next time with some running back sleepers.